Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com. The meerkats have come to town and they're at the pavilion. This is the card we've been making, so let's gather the supplies. Celebration is in full swing. You get free product for every £45 you spend, either at level one or, um, or at level two. And so at level two, you might get the dies, or you can actually get a combination of a stamp set with an embossing folder and that excludes handling and shipping. This is the pavilion stamp set with the dies and I think that comes to 47.50 so then you can get this stamp set from Celebration for free. My card base is thick Whisper White cardstock, cut at 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 8 inch. That's 29.8 centimeters by 10.5 centimeters, and folded in half to make a tent card. The Whisper White matte layer is 5 and a half by 3 and 3 quarters. That's 14 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters. A scrap of Whisper White for stamping and die cutting. Zake Mood specialty designer series paper and the one I'm using is this mosaic tile here and that's been cut at one and a half inches by three and three quarter inches that's 3.8 centimeters by 9.5 centimeters a scrap of terracotta tile cardstock and the 2019 to 2021 in color faceted dots tuxedo black memento ink the soft suede combo and the crumb cake combo and from the Settles collection pear pizzazz and terracotta tile from the in colours. First I'm going to ink up my pavilion in tuxedo black memento ink and stamp it on here. I'm also going to stamp these tapari pots. Before I do any die cutting, I'm going to colour the pavilion and I will be speeding it up. I'm colouring the roof in soft suede. So here goes. Now I stand up to film, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go away and colour these and I'll be back. Um, similarly, I'll colour the potted plants in, the pots with terracotta tile and the flowers and the rest in pear pizzazz. So I'll go away and do that and I'll be back. I also need to stamp out another meerkat. So I'll need to fussy cut that and these two I will die cut. And so my magnetic platform, base cutting plate, cardstock and then get out my dies. I'm going to use this one for the pavilion and that for the tapari tree. Top cutting plate and I'll go and do that off camera and I'll be back. And then I need to fussy cut the meerkat and move the paper, not the scissors. So getting back to the pretty pavilion stamp set, um, it's for all seasons, you can have it for a wedding with buntings, ivy over the arbour here and um, a wreath for Christmas, uh, I mean a garland for Christmas if you wish and there's a Christmas tree and some presents and so there's season's greetings here always forever for a wedding and thank you. <clears throat> but I'm using mine for meerkats. Where to stamp the meerkats right, I'm going to glue the <coughs> Design 
just a tiny bit of it to anchor it. And I can stick it down properly in a minute. But I need to find the position of the meerkats first. So that's the top. Ink up my meerkats. And I don't want to stamp any further up than where I've marked. So probably around there. <clears throat> Allow the ink to dry and then rub off the pencil marks. Use the dark crumb cake to <clears throat> put some shadows in. Now the <clears throat> reason why I did these two tapari pots is because uh, the meerkats extend beyond the pavilion and you can see it. So if I put the tapari pots there you won't see see it. So I need to put some glue <coughs> excuse me on the back of this. And glue that down. Same with this. And to get the position right, I need to put the pavilion. There. Then I'm going to use the foam adhesive strips. Remove the backing tape. Then pop that on. I'm going to apply some adhesive on this meerkat here and pop him on the step here. Trim off the excess bits. Glue it to the card front. the sentiment stamp and stamp on my scrap of um, terracotta tile. I'm going to use the mini trimmer which you can only get if you join Stamping Up. It's a, a special offer on at the moment for new recruits and it's not available for sale. Um, it's great for fine-tuning cutting your cardstock and if you want to cut larger pieces I have a slot called Top Tip Tuesday and I showed you how to cut pieces that are larger than the width of this cutter so if you haven't seen it yet hop on it's called Top Tip Tuesday and it's on my Stamp with Elaine Facebook page and there will be a link to it or if you subscribe to my channel um, <clears throat> you can uh, see the previous episode I'm just going to curl this a little bit and then use my glue again to glue that down but not all the way and pop that on top 
and lastly just add one of these faceted dots onto my project so that's the cards finished so just to recap if you buy this bundle the pretty pavilion you will qualify for getting this stamp set free from celebration thanks for joining to meet me today all the links to the supplies are below this video in the show more section you can also find me on facebook pinterest or instagram bye